drop, gonna drop. Um, so I saw a video of you and Hassan talking, um, I think like a month ago about my bro, China Mac. Um, Hassan was saying that he hates China Mac and uh, Minnesota was talking about China and the U.S. having issues. And you said China Mac got nothing to do with that. I know you got a relationship with China Mac, too. Um, what was the, the whole situation with that? I, <laughs> that? It was just funny to me because they was basically like hitting, hitting that and insinuating that China Mac could be a, 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 a like an agent, a spy for, for, for China. And I'm like, like the way they were saying, it, I'm like, yo, bro, you mean the China Mac went and sat down with Chi Ching Ping and I over here in the hip hop community spying for China? I, it was just, yo, I, it was funny to me. It was hilarious. I'm like, come on, bro. Yo, China Mac, the bro, China Mac is just out there creating content, finding his way like the rest of us. You know what I'm saying? He not, so he's not doing no demon work. Like he's not out there causing problems, though. I can see if he was causing contention problems, starting beefs, putting people against each other. He's not doing none of that. He's just running around having fun with um, what's the other um, Crip Mac? He having fun with this person. Like he just he just getting up with people having fun. I don't see I nothing feel- wrong with China Mac doing. I don't. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if anything, he's trying to bridge the gap between the two different communities. Because I've seen him like have conversations with each side of you know, and and we know that there's been tension between the the different minority communities. You know, so it seems like really more he's trying to build a understanding between the people because uh growing up in in, in uh hip hop it's like obviously it's it's a uh, more black culture right african american culture um but when if you're raised in that kind of culture but yeah like what are your thoughts about that about you know other people of other races growing up within the culture of hip hop I think it's dope I I think that um you know, anytime you create something that spreads globally like that, we should honor that. We should be happy. We should be grateful. You know, as long as they give us our flowers, I think, um, you know, they need to start giving the Bronx a little more flowers than they do around this planet. We need a little more flowers because we created this this beautiful culture in our borough. And um, I feel like a lot of times, instead of giving us our flowers, they, they'll say, oh, we did it better. Atlanta say we did it better. The West Coast say we did it better. Like, you know, I ain't do nothing better. Like, you know, what I mean, we started this, right? You know, so you know, but but I love it though. I love that other cultures is you know supporting hip hop. It just it just it just shows you how powerful we are. You know, we really it shows you know we really run this shit if we really put our minds together. For real, I think so too, man. I think that hip hop has become what pop culture is like. It's the number one culture, right? You see it everywhere. You see it commercials. It's the number one genre. Like if you, even if you pull up in the, the, the biggest suburbs, the kids is listening to hip hop, bro. You know what I mean? It's like, they are, you know, even if they can't truly relate to whatever the hood experiences, that's what they listen into. You know, it's being consumed in that way. Um, I just think that, like you said, uh, more respect needs to be put towards the people that created it. So for me, my opinion is just more like don't consume a culture that you don't care about the people that created the culture. Right. You know, so, um, but do you, do you think that, I I guess you, you don't share the same sentiments as like Hassan does where it's like, uh, you know, China Mac is going around and, and, um, trying to get in the middle of all these different gangs and everything. Right. Um, no, I, I don't, I don't see, and you know, I don't see him like if he was out there causing problems, like I said, drama and China Mac was in a lot of beefs. Then I would be like, yeah, he is doing, but he's not doing that. He's just making friends and he's creating content. That's what I see him doing. You know what I mean? Right. Now, um, yeah. Other than that, how, how is that? How is it just funny though? <laughs> what he was saying, he said, "Yo, all these Chinese people, he could be like Bruce Lee. He got, he got Jet Li. He got Jackie Towers crying. That was funny. I go fuck. That was funny. But, but you know, yeah, but then, that's like if you were to grow up in, in in China or something like that, and you're, you know, you're you're watching them on TV, then that's like more relatable. But to grow up in America, right? Like, and and this goes for like any any race. You know, what I'm saying it's like same thing where." Um, the first time you saw Pun, you saw Joe on TV, and they was 
representation for you, right? For for uh, for somebody that is growing up in the Bronx that is Puerto Rican or Latino and stuff, and you ain't never seen that before. You're like, wow, now we got somebody that is putting on for us. You know, so I, I think that um, it's it's harder to relate to something when you're growing up in a country where that doesn't speak to you like a like a Jet Li. You you know you you're American. You might be Chinese, but you're you know you're American at the end of the day. So that that person doesn't speak to you in that same way. Yeah, um, I it, but you know, like we said, though, hip hop is still the number one culture. So even if I grew up in China, I think I would still love hip hop. You know, so I get right. what you're saying. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying, though. I, I could I could definitely agree with that. I could just say I agree with you. 